Hi everyone, it's me, I see Constantine, one of the pharmacy trainer of BMAX Academy Mevram branch. So in today's video, I would like to give you an easy method to study autonomic nervous system. So let's begin with. So autonomic nervous system is involved with the involuntary activities that is happening in our body. For example, we are having a heartbeat, we are having a breathing, we are having secretions in our body. So all this is connected with the autonomic nervous system. So, autonomic nervous system is consisting of two types, one is a sympathetic system and the other is a parasympathetic system. So, we will have a discussion about that. So, before that, let me give you an example. For example, we are going through a lane where you are seeing a stray dog in front of you. As a human being, what will we do? We will get frightened, right? And we will run away. So, during that running away, we are having an increase in the heart rate. Along with that, we will have a rise in BP. We will be having a lot of palpitations. Even along with that, we will have a high sweat that is also coming. So that is related to a emergency condition. So here my point is, when it comes to sympathetic division, we are having a emergency tackling that is happening. So the neurotransmitter involved is adrenaline. So whenever you are having an emergency condition, adrenaline is a neurotransmitter that is getting active and at that time we are having an increase in heart rate, we are having an increase in BP, we are having a sweat production and we are also having a palpitation. Now let's discuss about parasympathetic system. So now we are in a relaxing mode. So at that time, what is actually happening? Our mucus production is there, our uh, mucus, saliva, all the secretions are getting active. I can give you an example. At the noon time, for example, by 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, when we have the smell of a biryani, what is actually producing? It is the mucus, sorry, it is the saliva secretion that will come into our mouth. So that is my point. So all the secretions in our body is associated with the parasympathetic system. So parasympathetic system is increasing the salivary secretion, it is secreting the acid, like it is increasing the acid production, it is increasing the mucus production. So all together, all the secretions are associated with the parasympathetic system. So let me tell you students, when we study the sympathetic and parasympathetic system, there is a comparison. We can study it with a comparative manner. For example, sympathetic is associated with an increase in heart rate. So if you compare it with parasympathetic, it is just the opposite. So sympathetic is increase in heart rate. So parasympathetic will be doing a decrease in heart rate. When it comes to BP, that sympathetic is increasing the BP and parasympathetic is decreasing the BP. When it comes to uh, secretions, that is mucus production is done by the parasympathetic system. The sweat production is done by the sympathetic system. Now coming to our smooth muscles, for example, we have a bronchi, we have a, a uterus, we have a stomach. So in all the smooth muscle containing organs, sympathetic is causing a relaxation. For example, when it comes to bronchi, it is causing bronchodilation. When it comes to stomach, it is causing relaxation. When it comes to uterus, it is causing relaxation. So the same way, when it comes to parasympathetic, as I already told you, it is just the opposite. So parasympathetic is causing bronchoconstriction, it is causing stomach to undergo constriction, it is causing uterus to undergo constriction. So constrictions are associated with the parasympathetic and relaxation is associated with the sympathetic division. Now coming to the last part, when it comes to eye, sympathetic is causing the dilation of the pupil and that is called as metriasis. And coming to parasympathetic division, it is just the opposite, that is it is causing constriction of the pupil and that is called as meiosis. So totally when you compare, sympathetic is causing tachycardia, sympathetic is causing uh, increase in BP, it is causing metriasis, it is causing all the smooth muscles to undergo relaxation and the final part, it is causing sweat to produce. When it comes to parasympathetic division, it is causing Causing, first point is it is causing bradycardia, it is causing decrease in BP, it is causing all the secretions, for example, mucus production, saliva production, acid production. So all the secretions are increased when it comes to parasympathetic, it causes meiosis within the eye. So finally, we will have a small question discussion also. So let's see the question now. An elderly female who lives in a farmhouse was brought to the emergency room in a serious condition after ingesting a liquid from an unlabeled bottle that is found near her bed, apparently in a suicidal attempt. 
she presented with diarrhea frequent urination convulsions breathing difficulty constricted pupils that is meiosis and excessive salivation so which of the following is correct regarding this patient okay so this is my question so you have already seen the question there's a female and she is living in a farm house and along with that she is bringing to the hospital in a serious condition she had taken something that is she had taken a liquid that is from a unlabeled bottle so from the thing you can understand that it is a suicidal attempt along with that it is saying that they are having diarrhea condition the patient is having frequent urination the patient is experiencing convulsions along with that breathing difficulty and constricted pupils so all the symptoms is pertaining to which division actually it is simple you can see the meiosis meiosis is associated with the parasympathetic division that is acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter involved along with that you have diarrhea urination frequent urination so that means that it is causing constriction of the stomach it is causing constriction of the urinary bladder so totally from the question itself we can say that it is related to the parasympathetic division that is acetylcholine is causing this condition so which drug may be coming under this is it may be a organophosphorus poisoning condition because organophosphorus compounds are a acetylcholine mimic drugs or acetylcholine acting type of drug so see the options now she most likely consumed an organophosphate pesticide second one was symptoms are consistent with sympathetic activation the third point is her symptoms can be treated using an anticholinesterase agent and her symptoms can be treated with using a cholinergic agonist as i already told you that since it is a overdose of a cholinergic drug that is a organophosphorus compound we cannot go with option b c and d why because b is saying that it is related to a sympathetic system it is not at all a chance the third option her symptoms is treated using an anti in a stress agent actually that is also a cholinergic drug so giving that drug is making the patient a worsen again her symptoms can be treated using a cholinergic agonist that is also not possible because it will make the person worsen or the patient will die because of this condition so the final answer is she most likely consumed a organophosphorus pesticide and you have to go for a treatment for that organophosphorus pesticide by giving a anti cholinergic drug So let's see an another question also. An asthma patient was given a non-selective beta agonist to relieve bronchoconstriction. Which of the following adverse effects would you expect to see in this patient? So the question is also again a simple question here. A non-selective beta agonist. A non-selective beta agonist comes under which category? That is a sympathetic system. So you have given a patient a drug that is relieving bronchoconstriction. That is to dilate the bronchi. You are giving a sympathetic drug. So the question is which adverse effect will you expect to see in this patient? There are four options there. Option A is bradycardia. option b is tachycardia option c is hypotension and the fourth one is worsening the bronchoconstriction since you give a bronchodilator since you give a sympathetic drug it is not at all causing a bronchoconstriction so you can uh, just strike off the option d then coming to hypotension and i already told you that when it comes to sympathetic division it is causing rise in bp that is hypertension and the last two options option a is bradycardia option b is tachycardia so which one will you prefer the answer is tachycardia because sympathetic division is associated with a increase in heart rate and that is caused by tachy cardia so this is the method students we have to find out a question to understand what the question containing and to strike out the wrong options then you can go for the right answer so to wind up actually bmax is providing an excellent platform for all the pharmacy students out there because we are giving an excellent coaching facility for hat candidates dha candidates moh and prometric exams so if you are planning to go abroad if you have a wish to get a better paid salary do come to us we are ready to help you and one more one more point i have to say is we have having a hostel facilities also for anybody who is planning to come here and stay here that is also available in our academy so if you have an interest do come over here we are ready to help you out thank you thank you so much